In Kazakhstan, devastating floods have hit the Caspian Sea region of Atyarau due to a year's rainfall in just three days. A large clean-up effort is now underway after hundreds of homes were damaged in the flooding, which began on May the 12th. Around 500 people were evacuated, many from mud brick buildings, which are common in this usually arid region. In the remote Chitral Valley in northwestern Pakistan, people from the pre-Islamic Kalash culture have begun their annual spring festival. The tribe claimed to be descendants of Alexander the Great's army, which passed through the region 2,000 years ago. It's estimated just 5,000 Kalash people remain in this rugged mountain terrain, only accessible along treacherous, icy roads. In recent years, their unique culture has come under threat from Taliban militants and Islamic missionaries. In Belgrade, the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov held talks with his Serbian counterpart Ivica Dacic, who said Serbia's efforts to join the European Union would not lead it to sacrifice its ties with Russia. The two Orthodox Christian countries are traditional allies. Lavrov was also due to meet the Serbian President and Prime Minister during his visit. <laughs> In Iraq's Kurdish region, a concert by a famous emigre singer brought some relief from the hardship of war. Adnan Karim's family fled Iraq during the rule of Saddam Hussein and he now lives in Sweden. The proceeds from the concert held in Erbil on May the 14th will go to the families of Peshmerga fighters killed in combat against Islamic State militants. Also in Erbil, UNESCO opened a special education centre for Iraqi and Syrian children displaced by the conflict with Islamic State militants. The event featured singing, poetry recitals and children's artwork. Volunteers will teach children whose schooling has been interrupted by fighting. And in Georgia, prices of food and household goods have risen by 8.7% over the last year, according to figures released by the National Statistics Office. Traders at markets voiced frustration, saying sales were down and livelihoods threatened as a result of the inflation. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.